Hello, Internet Sister Root. I know it's been a while since I did another video blog in that, so, uh, here I go. Let me just take these off, because, uh, if I get itchy, at least I don't have to end up scratching and covering my lens with fingerprints. This is what I'm Okay. Okay, uh, a bit of a... I just, uh, come on if you... Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's just combine a few weeks on the, uh, the video on that. Maybe in a video, too. So, these last few days, I've basically been, uh, taking lots of rides and, uh, helping a lot of people in the neighborhood, which is good to get, good to do. Uh, a few days, uh, let's just say last Saturday... You know, for Labor Day weekend, I went to Montreal, Quebec. That was fun. That was real fun. I had a good time over there. My brother drove me over there. That was awesome. We rented the car and all that. That was cool. I took. I actually took quite a bit of a time lapse and quite a bit of photography, which I'm going to include some of the photos in the uh, final video when I get to it. And, you know, I... Obviously, I forgot to bring my uh, camcorder's charger, and here's a fun fact. I basically couldn't charge the batteries and could not record the time lapse on the way back. And that sucks. A total of uh, six and a half hours became not more than about ten minutes of footage. So... The other part was... Uh, what was the other part? Did a bit of sightseeing. We hiked through a park. That was fun. And, uh... No, I actually didn't get uh, bitten by insects this time. And... Got lost a few times, but that was fun. Uh, what else? We got caught in the rain a few times. At least once on the uh, hike. I noticed there's a lot, well I've already known because I checked on Google Maps way ahead of time. There's a lot of bike infrastructure over there and uh, there's lots of bike infrastructure out there. Very friendly roads, it's amazing. Highways are a bit confusing though. Uh, you, if you weren't paying attention you could easily ride onto the highway without noticing so Lots of one-way streets, too. So, you'd have to really keep an eye on that. <laughs> and, uh, the highways are basically called auto routes, so... Same thing, really. And their Highway Traffic Act, which I forgot what it was, STC or something, is pretty much the same as Ontario. Very much the same. There is the uh, same one meter rule, the same uh, legally taking the lane part. They have it in both English and French. Thankfully, I didn't have to use Google to translate it, so I was able to read about. Most of the menu items and all that are in English and French, so I didn't have issues on navigating the city. And plus, quite to, to be honest, I knew where I was most of the time. I looked up uh, most of the maps, most of the streets on Google Maps, because Rue is street. Boulevard is actually spelt as Boulevard, so <sighs> everything was pretty much almost mirrored backwards, but it was pretty easy to navigate that city. The rural parts of Quebec look just like Toronto. Sorry, they look just like Ontario. They have the country roads, the regional roads, no different. Merrimack province, but much older, much, much older. The metro, which is uh, much smaller. I think I have the map here. Yes, I do. It's much. It's actually smaller than Toronto, but has just like Toronto. It's only three line, four lines. That's it. I picked up a map there. So, uh, oh wait, the video is uh, tinted blue. There's line one, line two, line three, line four. Blue, green, orange, and yellow. It's called the Metro, but whatever. STM is the transit company. 
Their train system is different. They use the Opus card. I know that. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad going along there. I didn't ride the Metro, unfortunately. And, uh, have enough funds set aside to purchase a one-time use Opus card. Non-rechargeable types. Unfortunately, or ticket. But, the next time I head over there, I'm basically going to make sure that, one, I bring my camcorder's charger. This, yeah, that time around, next time I go there. And two, uh... If it's even possible, get my bike on the trailer and bring it over there too so I can ride the city and the suburbs of Montreal and get lost with pleasure and then return. You know, because I like doing that. I like getting lost. It's fun. Ah, itchy. Okay. The abdominal leg itch. Regardless. Oh. That. Uh, oh yeah, and along taking a ride at let's just uh, forget about Montreal because it's all over now. On the way back, whatever it was just, I slept most of the way on the way back because I was just too exhausted, you know, and completely out of shape and all that. Now the other part about uh about heading back home, once I got home, I went out for a ride, you know, to burn out some of the energy. And here's the fun thing about sitting in the vehicle for about four to six hours. That base, yeah, for six and a half hours. Jesus Christ, almost seven hours, I say. We also stopped uh, by Ottawa, and we got to see the apartment of the building, so I took a look around there. We parked in the museum. I walked up the underground parking exit, you know, to get to the service, because there's no elevators. I wasn't going to climb 17 flights of stairs. And plus there was no vehicles in because the museum was closed. Unlike Toronto, Montreal they've closed. Most of the things are closed. And surprisingly, hotels are open. I was surprised. Uh, other than that, it was fun. I stopped by this nice gelato place that had some ice cream. On we'll getting back, yep, I had uh, incredible back pain. I don't know why, maybe we should sit in the car for that long. For three days in general. I hated it. If we had just taken public transit. I don't know, it would have been better. It would have probably cost a bit more, but everything is close by in that city. It would have been better. But the back pain went away after I took quite a few long rides for about how long? For about two four to six hours and now that back pain is gone the last few days have just been rides in order to get myself back in shape bit of grocery shopping and today was the best part I helped the neighbor disassemble a TV cabinet and reassemble a brand new one that was fun taking apart the old one was even more fun I, uh, I ripped it apart with them. They had a bad back, so I had to do most of the fun. So, I ripped it apart and, uh, disposed of it. That was the best part about it. I had a lot of fun with that. I was going to do the Hulk smash, but it wasn't about to hurt my arms, and I didn't have a huge sledgehammer. That would have been fun. Knock it completely down. Uh, Yeah. And I missed the store to get cat food, so I'm going to have to go tomorrow. And that sucks, because, you know, that was more important. Cats aren't running out of food anyway. So, you know, what do you got to do, right? Anyways, I might have got a bit staggered in this video blog. So, uh, what else is there to do? Anyways. Yesterday had a bit of a rough day, but I prefer not to discuss it. It was horrid, really. But uh, today has been great. So uh, yeah, and not to mention miniature bonfires, which can occur within the confines of a soup can. 
that part's fun. And this weather, basically, uh, it's getting colder. And I'm accepting that fact because I want to ride it in shorts and my legs started fucking burning from the cold. So instead, I headed home. I wasn't about to get frostbitten because I went lower than what it predicted. Instead, it was supposed to be a low 12. Oh, sorry, a low 16. It ended up going to a low 6. And as soon as I got home, that was it. I just decided to stay home. And that's around the time when uh, the rough day started when I was heading home. Anyways, whatever. Uh, well, that's about all. I also brought back a smart TV, which I'm going to fix. I'm going to take the backlight out and put a lamp inside it. If the lenses allow fractioning of light. Or you, you know what the fuck it's called, uh... Dittering or spread it out of the light or wrestle. And uh, I could probably use this light a fucking better. It'll be even lighter when I take the backlight out. And uh, yeah. Maybe turn it into a window TV, window panel. That'd be cool. Anyways, that's all I'm gonna say. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and uh, have a nice day. This video is recorded in 4K at 6 megabits per second. One step up from 4K. Laters.